Hello again, and this time making a sort of corral turned pit shop turned arena. And to start with that, we're going to get some foam core and carve a circle out of the middle, leaving an upper room on the edge to make some bases. Having a sharp blade here is pretty essential, and by rotating it with your left hand, you can get a nice smooth cut most of the way around. I put the circle over to one side, for another build later on. But it is the outside area we're interested in now. So taking our knife, cutting it into three, and beveling it. Using a large knife at first to get rid of the larger pieces of waste. When dividing it, I try to go for three equal portions, so divide nice into thirds. These then become bases for a circular wall, but can also be used singularly to add a bit more cover to a field. For the internals of the wall, taking some underfloor insulation, which is very similar to styrofoam, cutting it to the right height and then scoring one side. So taking a knife, thinly cutting on one edge, but not all the way through, and then bending it out so it makes a nice curved wall. Then once happy with the size and shape of that, attaching it with hot glue to the base. I had also run out of the pre-made corrugated sheet, so I made some more. Taking a sheet of corrugated cardboard, and starting with a layer of black gesso. which was then followed by a layer of burnt umber. And then finished with a sponging and metallic paint. Then using these sheets, I could trim them down to size, bend them up to scuff them a bit, then glued them all around the insulation board to cover up the internals. For some chain link fencing, I took some plastic mesh I got from a garden centre and using hot glue to attach that to the wall. To make the entrance stand out some more, I took two more pieces of the styrofoam insulation and glued them onto the front. Taking some coffee stirrers that I stained using a very watered down mix of black paint, I then made a wooden platform to sit on top of the entrance. So this would not only provide a platform, but also a place where I could put a sign so I could change the use of the building as and when I needed to. Taking some bamboo skewers, I trimmed them down to the same height of the wall, poked some holes in the base, and then glue three of them in a row, so I could have a bit more difference in the materials they use to make the wall. This also helps to blend the edge of the wall into the next one, where you won't have an exact flush fit, but that's to be expected with the change in materials. Slicing the top of the wall at a slight angle through the cardboard and the insulation foam, I then trimmed some of the corrugated cardboard down into small pieces and glued it around the top using Mod Podge then placed a few more bamboo skewers on the inside of the wall so I could have some canvas coverings on the inside. Then using super glue, I attach some plastic strips on the top of these skewers, which will make adding the canvas later a lot easier. At this point I had an idea I wanted to play with, so I made three towers out of scrap materials on my desk and then did them up to be covered in corrugated cardboard as well. So I could have three larger structures and alter the profile of the piece some.
mixing up some basing paste using some more black gesso, sand, cork flock, and some PVA glue. I then apply this over the base, blending the base of the wall and covering all the foam core with a nice earthy texture. Taking the towels, I also scraped some onto the base of the piece, so you get some dirt buildup going up the side of the towers as well. Before that had a chance to dry, I took some more of the coffee stirrers and put some wooden platforms down onto the base by pushing it into the dirt. Then doing the same by poking some small aquarium rocks into it. Once that had all dried, I went in with the burnt umber and put a base cut down over the black gesso. While that was drying, I returned to the towers and realised I could easily add some toppers and turn them into guard posts or watchtowers. So taking some corrugated cardboard, some coffee stirrers and a few other pieces, I knocked up a few variant pieces which would just sit on top of the tower. The main reason between doing a different style for each of the towers was so I could experiment and see which one actually looked best at the end, and then take that forward for other builds. But for now, given that it is a fairly ramshackle, apocalyptic world I'm building, it doesn't really matter if the materials are mixed together. With the toppers brought up to the rest of the painting, I took some orange and some red acrylic and a sponge and started dabbing on a bit more rust and adding a bit more grime to the pieces. This is also a great time to colour up any of the white ends of the corrugated sheets where you've cut them, which works well as the end pieces are normally rustier anyway. For the towers, I didn't love the colour that I'd gone for, so I'd taken some watered down orange paint and just grind them up by adding some streaking rust before sponging on some more to give it a bit more texture. Taking a beige paint and a soft brush, I went back to the base and gave a fairly heavy handed dry brush over the earth texture to pull the details back in. You can also do this on the base of the wall to help that to blend in as well. For the billboard on top of the gate, I took some plastic card and scoring a cut in three or four times with a steel rule so it's the right size. I then took some pliers and snapped the plastic card out. then repeated the process to trim down the excess plastic card. And after a quick dry fit to make sure it's the right size, I put it to one side and moved on to the canvas. Taking some tissue paper and some watered down PVA dyed with some brown acrylic paint. I dunked the tissue into the mixture and then spreading around the pigments from the paint and the PVA so it would be nicely distributed. This could then be applied over the supports. Using a sculpting tool to push it into shape and then trimming off the excess.
Moving back to the billboard, where I gave it a base of black gesso and some metallic paint as a baseline, I went in with a fine tip brush and started colouring in the lettering. I had planned to use some markers instead of paint on this, but I found they didn't take to the metallic surface. For the final areas of the wall that weren't covered, I took some more Mod Podge and started gluing in the coffee stirrers to cover them up, alternating my way up the wall as I did so. Next up is the best section, the tuft. So taking some tufts and applying them strategically over the base. With the tufts added and the billboard dry, and with a few more doodles and rust added to it, that was the piece finished. So at a base level you have this little circular corral that you can use, but by splitting it evenly and thirds, you can also add the watchtowers, or just have the larger blocks depending on the use. So although I initially imagined this as sort of a corral or sort of a pit shop, it could also be used as an arena, a fortress, or even just a little covered market, or just as independent walls. And it goes quite nicely with my existing builds as well. If we grab the shack from last time, we can then attach it to the side and make a little covered garden. So this might be the most useful piece of terrain I've made in terms of getting some variety in your skirmish games. But anyway, thanks so much for watching, I'll catch you next time.